Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch. I am Gustav and you are watching Whiskey Tasting and Food Pairing Review number 235. In this video, I am going to start with a very short series on 16 year old single malts from the Highland and Speyside area of Scotland. You can see the packaging, the gift boxes here lined up behind me. So a short review of these three 16-year-olds, beginning with the Anok 16-year-old single malt. The Anok distillery, of course, situated in the northern highland of Scotland. This is our map here. You can see the lowlands and the highlands and the Speyside region. And then in the region, Speyside region, the Knock Do Distillery is situated right there. So that'll be on the eastern side of the Speyside region. And this is one of the few whiskies where the name of the whiskey is not the same as the distillery. So this comes from the Knock Do Distillery founded in 1894. But the whiskey name is Anok. Um, this distillery is owned by Inverhouse Distillers. And according to my research, they produce about 2 million liters of spirit every year. Now, the Nocti Distillery nestles in the Nock Hill known to the locals by its Gaelic name, Anok. And that is, of course, where the, hill co where the name comes from. And also from these hills, uh, the Nocti Distillery get their water for distilling this whiskey. So we're looking at a 16-year-old. Here we go from Knock to Distillery, Unknock. Discontinued, of course. So this is a discontinued, replaced by the 18-year-old. And pretty soon we're going to do a comparison video to determine which was the better one. The old 16-year-old or the new 18-year-old. It's got an ABV of 46. And you can see at the bottom of the bottle there. And what I like most about this whiskey is the fact that it's unchill filtered. And just by the way, after these short reviews of these three 16 year old whiskies, we're going to do Elna and myself. We're going to do a comparison to determine which one of the three is our respective favorites. So here we go. Whiskey review and food pairing today. Unlock 16 year old discontinued single malt replaced by the 18 year old there we go we've got a pale gold very light color because of his maturation in ex bourbon casks for 16 years you can see some of the legs forming there oh it's a, got a fruity nose fruity it's got a sweet nose there's some citrus there some lemon it's quite fresh on the nose, vanilla. Ooh, and of course, if you do the drop in the palm test where you put a drop of this whiskey in your palm and rub it fiercely until the alcohol is evaporated, you get a beautiful toasted grain aroma in that palm of your hand. So with, there we go, fresh, fruity, sweet, lemon, citrus, and uh, on the palate, slanger. Lovely, lovely, lively, sweet on the palate. It is a light, fruity dram with some sweet fruits, some typical Speyside sweet fruits. But it's also quite crisp. I've got some cereal notes coming forward and some toffee notes. And then, of course, the cask peppery notes right at the end. It's got a warm spicy finish and um, what I did when I did my research the empty glass test if I leave the glass after I finish the dram I leave it for a few hours then in the empty glass you get the wonderful bourbon cask aromas and some floral aromas and some mm, some ripe fruit basket aromas so on the palate, mm, warm, spicy.
the complexity is coming through. It's coming through bit by bit. It needs to rest a bit in the glass. You need to spend a bit of time with it to really discover everything that's going on in this jam. So adding a few drops of water to this 46% alcohol by volume. You can see the oily separation effect after the water was added. And now after the water on the nose, pear, apple, citrus. Mm. More rounded, some more intense vanilla and fruit and then the light pepper finish after a few drops of water was added to this. So in summary, I would say this, I knock 16 year old, it, it feels a bit younger than the age on the bottle. So you are expecting something that has got more of an older feel and yet you get this lively crisp dram, which is quite a surprise. Um, but the complexity is there to be discovered. It needs time though. Uh, this is not something that one should rush if you enjoy this 16 year old Anok whiskey. In terms of the food pairing, it's, it's light, it's crisp, it's lively. And um, you can't have a food pairing that's overpowering. It will very easily uh, dominate this dram. So we chose here at the Whiskey Couch, we chose something light and something creamy that will go with this. And that is a chicken and mushroom soup. Now the slight earthiness of this soup brings forward some lovely fruit, fruit flavors in this dram. It's a very, very nice pairing. Some creamy chicken and mushroom soup with a dash of black pepper and of course the trick the secret is a dash of lemon juice because the lemon juice is going to be the connecting factor between this pairing snack and the citrus flavors in this dram so here we go creamy wonderfully earthy mm. And now, after this food snack, you get those almost a burst of ripe fruit and malt flavors. So a superb pairing with this particular single malt from the Speyside region of Scotland or the Highlands. It's quite on the edge of Speyside. So some people consider it part of the Speyside region. Others consider it just outside the border part of the highlands. Nevertheless, the first one in this short series on 16 year olds. In the next video, I'm going to look at the Benriak 16 year old. Until then, slander.